Hey everyone, once again, I get the privilege to give you a sneak preview for the new Dynex Blockchain Explorer, which comes out tomorrow, um, September 20th, 2023. This is the original Blockchain Explorer as it's seen now. It does, it serves this purpose. Hash rate, block height, difficulty, reward, and the latest block. Gives you your latest transactions. You can search by block number, or transaction hash. Scroll down, you can get what's currently in the mempool. And down at the bottom, you can get all the latest block info, fees, everything that goes along with it. Yeti took it upon himself to answer another Dynex bounty, and he went and completely redesigned and added new features to the Blockchain Explorer. Here's what it looks like. Way different. So, we got our transaction hash search and our block search. Hash rate, difficulty, latest block. You can actually even click this to get into the block information. Click out, average block time, block height, and the current block reward. Now, this is new. Connected miners on the whole network. There are 68,451 miners currently on the Dynex network with a total GPU count of 165,496 GPUs. He's also added MALB metrics, shows you where the MALBs are in the world and what country they're in. That's as much information as you're gonna get right now. Uh, shows you all the pools, how many workers each pool has, and their percentage of blocks found on the network. Also gives you the hash rate history, broken down by months, each month, and same with the compute history. We scroll down a little bit further, we can see the proof of useful work metrics. And this will show you how many jobs were done this year, how many jobs were done this month, and the average duration of those jobs for the current month. And it breaks it down also by month down here, like June, 2023, did 1,533 jobs total. And you can go through that. Block metrics is also a new add-on. You have a legend sitting up top here, which is interactive. It will actually highlight um, certain time periods which are done in UTC time. You got your days and then your time blocks, which each one is a one block, a one hour block time. So we can go anywhere through here and see uh, Monday between 1600 and 1659 UTC, there were 30 blocks found on the blockchain. Now, this will be more interactive in the future. Uh, he has to add in more functionality, but at least this gets started. So if we scroll down a little bit more, you have the section for proof of useful work, job history. Don't say that five times fast. Um, you can see our longstanding job that we've been working on, the uh, SAT job, 3042. How many chips are currently running on it right now? How many workers are running on it? Uh, how close we are to solving it, the LOC? forget what that stands for. Um, don't ask me about energy and the reward for the person who actually solves it. 100,000 Dynex. You can see it's ongoing. And the rest of these are a history of jobs that were done. And we can actually click into the jobs. See the job ID. It'll tell you it's an SDK job. Job file, fee reward, how many chips were used. So let's try that on the ongoing job. There we go. See, it's ongoing. Dynex SDK job. There's the job file. 100,000 reward. How many chips are in use? How many workers? Basically, the same information. It just spreads it out a little bit more. Last three sections you got your latest transactions, your latest blocks, and your transactions that are currently in the mempool. Anything that is yellow, it's clickable to get a bigger window. With more information, now I can click the hash. It'll give me all the hash information, and I can go back to that block if I, there was more hashes that I need to look at, and then just either hit the close button, which is kind of blocked by my camera right now, or just click away. So that's the preview for tomorrow's release of the new Dynex Block Explorer. If you have any questions or comments, there will be a link for the Dynex Discord down in the video description below. Feel free to join and pipe up. Love to hear what you have to say about it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.